place is really neat. And in fact, I don't see why I can't race this car right now, right here. So last week I brought you guys to Track 36, which is the brand new outdoor public free uh, RC track that was built in Avon's Town Hall Park. And so we checked it out and if you guys watched it, I didn't have an RC car with me and I didn't even think it was open yet, but it was. Nobody was there and I could have raced on the track if I had an RC car. Now I have a big old RC monster truck that would be perfect for this track. Um, it's one of the nice expensive big ones, but it is really old. It was my dad's when I was younger and I begged him for it over the years as I got older and finally he gave it to me. Um, it needs some repairs. So I got it out this weekend hoping to get it repaired to take out and test on the track. But then I realized this thing needs a lot more repair than it may be worth. It's in really bad shape. Um, I'm still gonna look into trying to get it fixed, but it's not gonna happen overnight, that's for sure. So plan B, I brought my daughter's little RC car, $10 toy. <laughs> this thing is only 10 bucks and it is pretty cheap and it is a toy, but it's quick and it's neat and it can turn on a dime it can do a wheelie and it's got the wheelie bar and i think it'll be cool out here on this track it's a qu quick little car so we're going to go test out track 36 in avon town hall park let's go we're here we got a few people out here but not think anybody's racing their cars hi i'm okay to use the track you gonna run on it if it's all right is it still closed yeah yeah well you can't see the sign because the wind's blowing it over. Oh! <laughs> Track closed. They off. The sign was falling down, so I couldn't see it there. I uh, I stopped by here last week, but I didn't have a car with me, and I wanted to see if it was open. And I talked to a guy out here, and he told me, "Yeah, yeah, it's open." And I'm like, "Oh, I don't have a car." So this week, when I came out, I'm out here once a week. It was and open briefly, and then they started the landscaping to get ready for the grand opening. Yeah, he told me that he'd be working on some landscaping, so I'm not too surprised. One youngster and one man out here dragging mud in a wet spot here, so you, you, you know they kind of spoil it for everybody. But you know, it, you can't say one good for one and not for another. Yep. No, no, I'm good. Yeah. Is it okay if I still look around a little bit? Yeah, help yourself. All right, thank you. I can't drive on the track. Again, I apologize for the wind. Spring in Indiana can be pretty windy and causes a lot of noise in my microphone. Since I can't race on the track, I'm just gonna look around the park a little bit. I didn't go this way last time. See, this is a really cool big playground. My kids would love this. I'm gonna have to bring them out here sometime. Big, huge slides. And then the lake is over here. Oh yeah, you can see there's a path down there. You can walk all the way around this lake. Great view of the lake from there. But it's some good fishing out here. Spring Fling Radio Control Festival. Airplane, boats, cars, and trucks. It does not say drones. <laughs> I wonder if that's uh, done on purpose. So it looks like Avon became a town or city. I don't know if it's known as a city or a town. But 1995. But I don't know why it only to 2015. <laughs> That's strange. It's still almost like a death date. I don't know. I don't understand that because they did the same thing. 1816 to 2016. So this is our uh, 200th year as a state, which is really neat. And it's also the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500 this year. So this year is a big deal. And also let me just note, um, Indiana became a state in 1816 on my birthday, December 11th. So I share a birthday with the state of Indiana. I'm a Hoosier through and through. That's me right there. All Indiana, all the time. That's really neat. Okay, obviously that one is, uh, you hear all that water running. There's like a runoff underneath. But obviously this one just overlooks the lake. But this one I'm more curious about. Okay, so where that water underneath is running off out probably leads over here. And it looks like it goes off into a creek. Yes, it does. It's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. 
Looks like a great place to do some fishing from, right up on here. Yeah, I like it because it's varying elevations. Yeah. It's uh, changing terrain, so no matter how many times you walk it, it really doesn't get boring because you're always into a different area. Yeah. And I've walked it so many times, depending on how many steps I've taken before I get here, I know exactly what, how many loops here, how many loops there, whether or not to go around the other lake and get my 11,000 steps in. Nice. And I'm guessing you're allowed to fish in here? Yeah. In fact, somebody told me before that any of this was here, this was a private pay lake. Really? Yeah. The thing I like about this the most, every day you come here, it's as though it just opened the day before. They maintain it perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm, I've not seen any trash or... You know, I, I like I said, I'm from the city and all the indie parks. They're pretty, they're pretty bad most of the time. Yeah. Hey, see you out you. here again. I, yeah. I'm here almost every day. <laughs> all right. Have well, thank you, day. sir. Have a good one. What a really nice guy. That guy was very informative. Let me know all about the place. Says he comes out here every day to walk. He doesn't even live that close, but he loves his park, so he comes out here. So even though it's a little disappointing that I couldn't race the RC car, it's still a not a waste of trip at all. This place is really neat, and in fact. I don't see why I can't race this car right now, right here. Kind of glad I couldn't race this thing on that track. I wouldn't have been able to do it. This thing is hard to control. Uh, it's cool. It spins and it turns on a dime and wheelies and all that. But I wouldn't have been able to control it around the track. So I'm going to need something better than this when this thing does open. It's probably good that it was closed today. Um, I'm glad I figured that out before I got on the track and embarrassed myself. Now I am going to take the hard way back up. That don't look too difficult. At least you got these uh, roots to use for steps. Ugh. but it isn't exactly easy. Especially when you got your hands full. There we go. All right. Boy, that wind is something fierce out there. It's picking up too. It wasn't that bad when I got out. And you know, another thing I would like to take a note of, that uh, Thunder Tumbler RC car I was using, the batteries died on me. So what did I use it for maybe 20 minutes with four brand new AA batteries I just put in it? That's not very good. I guess that's what you get for a $10 toy. It sounds like it will be open if I come back this time next week. And uh, I want to have a better RC car, hopefully, that I can uh, race on this track. That'll be a lot of fun. But thanks for coming along with me. Sorry to disappoint. But hey, we got to do a little exploring and uh, check out this beautiful place some more. We'll see you guys all again tomorrow. Peace! <laughs>